I'm really interested in how after school settings and other contexts for positive youth development can be contexts for connecting adults and youth around shared interest. I mean, it just makes so much sense. Kids might come and go, but if you can teach them the skills to recruit mentors, um, you, you know, and so I'm working with the Hive after school uh, settings in New York, and, but mostly in Chicago now, to develop what we're calling a mentoring infrastructure. And it's um, teaching kids how to recruit mentors, teaching kids how to be mentors to other kids in the program. We're calling it the Share What You Know project. And then um, bringing more evidence-based mentoring, what we're calling intentional mentoring, into the staff and adults who are in those settings. Because they're much more than parents. After-school staff spend more time talking to teenagers and kids than their own parents because they're there every day unstructured time, and more than their teachers. Teachers are constrained by these curricular demands. They can't really talk to kids. Then there's these young people working in after-school settings that just kind of hang out with kids. What if we gave them the best tools, you know, for working with kids, brought in the very best evidence-based practice, and trained them to really think of themselves as mentors? We, you know, it could be a much more powerful intergenerational setting than it is right now. Right now it's just kind of, it might happen, it might not. But why shouldn't it happen? One of my real interests right now is having kids recruit their own mentors. So rather than give them this one fish through programs, teach them the skills for finding people who share their interests in their fields. And you know, there actually are some um, websites, like there's one called Rocket 21, where it helps you identify what is your interest and then helps you find mentors in that field. But that's just one example. I think it, in a way it just connects a much larger number of people around shared interests than ever before. We just did a meta-analysis where we looked at what is the effect size of mentoring programs across all kinds of programs, Big Brothers Big Sisters and everything else. And the effect of mentoring programs overall is not very strong, but if you match a kid and a um, mentor on the basis of shared interest, the effect size doubles. It goes from, well, just empirically, it goes from 0.2, which is considered really small effect to 0.44, which puts it in the range of the effects of psychotherapy on the simple thing of matching on shared interest.